How's it doing, brother? Ah, oh, man. Good to be back here at the King's Cave. <laughs> the King's Cave. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. What's new? Oh, man. Collecting, collecting, collecting. Collecting. Yeah. It never ends, right? Nope. Never <laughs> ends. Um, looks like we're um, up for the third episode. Um, if you miss or if you didn't see the second one, it was because it was in Spanish. Yeah. Um, in Espanol, in Espanol. But yeah, we're trying to come up with one in Spanish, mm -hmm. one in English, trying to be fair and then try to, yeah. to get a little bit of content for everybody. Um, well, too much to talk about. We kind of like left the, 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 the last episode all, um, also with, with wanting to talk more. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I feel like we always have we, to cut it in the middle. Right front, yes, yes. Yeah, I kind of had to cut it in the middle of the of the conversation because I feel like, you know, in the beginning, we were like started like a little bit nervous and then it started to get it more and more comfortable and then just... Yeah. And that's but a, after, the half, yeah. after the first, like, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, like, now it's like... And we let our hair down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, let's talk about. I was I was I was thinking about something uh, last time, and I, I don't know if because I saw it on on a post of a friend, or I don't know what it made me think about it. But the more I thought about it, mm -hmm. the the deeper I went into good and bad uh, predictions or thoughts or okay, right. Uh, and it's was it, it, it's about where do you see your collection ending like not not ending you collecting but let's say and hopefully it's not too soon but you know you're not here or we're, I'm not here mm -hmm. what do you think is, is gonna happen with your collection or do we have a game plan of what you have a game plan or like thinking about the worst case scenario like and I was I was thinking about it like and you know And I heard a friend, and it's a mutual friend, that he was, like, having issues with, 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 with you know, his family and mm -hmm. stuff. Outside, yeah, outside of collecting. Uh, outside of collecting. And then he was, like, uh, she knows how much my figures are worth, right? So, mm -hmm. so this is not, I'm not worried only for the house, the car. Oh, wow. yeah. But, you know, the collection is... Like she knows that it's sell it all, it's sell it all before sell. it's too late. Sell it all is the best advice. So, but yeah, but like, like, what do you think? You know, there's a lot of a, a lot of a possible outcomes, and it's a little bit of a touching. Um, I don't know the the hypothetical, mm -hmm. but that's what it kept me thinking. Like a oh, a lot. Like so, I mean, a lot of times. I already talked to to my family about this before. Um, now, of course, we're, we're hard into collecting it. And, and, you know, they don't they don't know how much some of the stuff I have is worth. And mm. it's understandable, you know, because that's not their passion. We we do we do our due diligence and look to see how much things cost and, you know, try to bring in the, you know, the best, the best, of the best, because that's what we want to collect. Mm -hmm. So um, but I have talked to. Uh, my son about maybe him inheriting my mm -hmm. collection now but one thing is to to inherit the collection mm -hmm. and the other thing is to inherit the passion the for passion. it yes so, because so, he might he might likes collecting but he might yeah and it, doesn't it, like and, but i'm not gonna the, be in this world to know what he does with it see so that's his choice that's his choice to make if he wants to hold on to it for you know, purposes of remembering me or if I'm not here no more. Do you or, think <laughs> I, I, how I, much I, your memory will cause? Like. Exactly. So I wouldn't know if I'm still alive, then I'll make sure that he's, you know, he's well aware of what he has in his possession and he mm. takes it from there. Do you have a, a database or of, of how much? And if you do a database, I don't know if you have it or not, but if you do a, a database, would you put how much? you pay for it or how much is it worth or, or I, I wouldn't or how much I, I, I wouldn't put how much it's worth because who knows what it's worth now in 15, 20, 30 years from now, mm -hmm. it may be worth more, maybe worth less. So 
I wouldn't want to tell him a hard number because then he would feel like, okay, what what if I tell him, okay, it's worth five thousand, and then inflation. Or yeah, whatever. twenty years from here, twenty years from now, it's worth twenty. And oh, you know what? He told me it's five thousand, so I'll just sell it for five. So the best thing, the best advice that I gave him was do your homework. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look into the, the you know the market. The market will tell you what it's worth. You know, if it, but it's your choice. If you want to sell it for a dollar, it's not mine no more. <laughs> so you decide what you want to do. If you want to give it to your kids, you want to pass it on generation to gen- That's that's your ch- see. But we're talking about this because it's our passion. For him, he's probably <laughs> oh, it's just a piece of plastic. If you, yeah. if you, yeah, let's say you have a an opportunity, and we don't know. We may have. I don't mm-hmm. know. But let's say we may have. We may get an opportunity to to see what happens after we're gone. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what will be you know the worst thing right so let's say because you say it to your son but i don't know your partner why what if they like they take or she takes over and like hey yeah uh, he gave him to you but you're too too too, too, too little to to know yeah. about this and then she started well that that's that's why you have a will I don't know if you heard of a will. So pretty no. much, <laughs> uh, so, so so pretty much, you know, yes, that hasn't been done legally, you know, getting through a lawyer and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, that's, that's pretty much. But what it's a collection. I feel like there's a lot <laughs> yeah. of, there's a lot of, okay, lo- well, a lot of loop holes because maybe you say I, I, when I made my will, you know, mm-hmm. it, it was this many figures, but then you're gone and then she sells a couple of them like no he sold them before before he he could change his will or whatever <laughs> i mean it, it, there's, there's a lot of gray areas there's mm-hmm. a lot of gray areas we could, i'm not trying to give anybody no, ideas no, no, no. but yeah but there's a lot of gray areas in that i mean we we could just hope we trust we could just trust hope and hope that they're gonna do the right thing because when we're not here we don't know what's gonna happen we just, we just don't that's what happen. i'm saying what if we can know oh like, if we like can why, know. Why, why, why would you be disappointed if they sell oh, yeah, it right de- away de- if they I- sell it right away would well, you would you be happy like i i would just want to make sure that they're they are happy because in a way if there's a will you can say in the will like it's yours but you cannot sell it you you can but <laughs> if this if that's really what is gonna make you happy. I don't know. Yeah, well if, so if, if hypothetically you're saying if we're you know, we're not here no more and 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 we're actually seeing what's going on, our ghost is seeing what's going on and we're you know we want Yeah, I mean hypothetically you you wouldn't want them to sell it because we know what it is, but at the same time I wanna be fair and be like, Are you passionate about this like I am? Mm-hmm. Because it's almost like a collection, like you know, a collection, a collectionist and a reseller. So, those are two different things. You might want to be a reseller or a collectionist. So, our passion is, we want to hold on to the thing as long as we can. We, 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 you know, we, our hard, hard earned money went into this, our time, our effort. So, I make sure he understands that. He's gonna, he's gonna but, understand but, that. Uh-huh. But in your son, he likes, he likes figures. He likes collecting. Maybe not the same thing that you do, but but he likes collecting. Exactly. My my daughters, they don't. They don't. They don't really care much. Okay, they so like. They like this room. They like it because you know, it's, it's, it's yeah, you know, it's that is place and all that. And mm-hmm. they they know that these are my figures. They come in here like every day, and they don't. Like a lot of people ask me, like, oh, what about your kids? They, and they be I, messing. I've asked you that as well before. Will they be messing with the figures? Like, no, no. They they they, mm-hmm. they for some reason no. They they don't. They no. respect because they why? Respect. Okay, but why? Because you you make sure to make them understand. Mm-mm. My son, not even they they know it's my, they're mine, and they're just like. I don't know. I don't remember telling them like, "Oh no, this is this is mine," and you don't. Mm-hmm. No, not really. Like, but, but what I'm saying, what I'm trying to go with that is, I feel like they don't understand yet, so they don't. But they don't. So or they don't have. They're, they're too little. Just still to understand what's, what was the was the what's a collectible, what's the value of it. Mm-hmm. So, if anything, for me. I think I'll be happy if they sell it for a good price. Like I don't, I don't, I don't expect for them to keep them. If they do, because that's a good a way for them. A more if they likely. They wanna to to yeah to to say oh I like you know how daddy spent mm-hmm. his time here and it's something that I can yeah. you know enjoy and have a whatever. 
I'll be happy. But honestly, what I expect, it's they get a good money for it. Like I don't, I don't, I, I, I might see it like you said as a, as a. What is it? Working Inher- Her- In- inheritance. Inheritance. Yeah. Uh, so if I, I'll be happy if they sell it for a good price. Yeah, and that and that's what I'm getting at. So me, honestly, I have to be fair. Like I said, we have a passion. Maybe my son might not have that passion like I do, that drive. Mm-hmm. So if whatever he does with it, as long as, like I said, he does his homework, and if he's if he does, yeah, I think if he does want to sell, well, at least he he gets something good out of it. Now, it it's not going to cost him because pretty much it's given to him. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't really know, you know, it's pretty much when something's given to you, you don't mm-hmm. you don't really have that. Oh man, you know, I, I the appreciation here is that- yes to 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 get where I'll to get where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, if the best thing for me is, like I said, if he does tend to sell it, same thing with you is if you're going to sell it, make sure you do your homework and don't get, go, don't get ripped off. Now, like I said, he has started his little collection. He has a few Funkos here and there, a couple of toy biz figures. And, and what I like is that he's a little like me. Like he doesn't want nobody touching his stuff, you know, mm-hmm. appreciate it from a distance. You know, we could be right in front of it. A good display. A good display. Yeah, he has his little shelf, and so that that honestly makes me happy because then I feel like may, maybe he might keep a Dude. figure here and there, you know. And if he wants to sell them, then he could sell them. But I I I really feel if you know your kids well enough, you know that I think he'll probably keep a couple of them for sentimental values, knowing yeah. that. And and I'll explain to him like this is what this is my this mm. is one of my favorite. You know that okay, I wouldn't okay, want the one that you're really yeah. attached to. So yeah. this is something that I would like you to hold on to. Now it's his choice, like I said, because I, we're not gonna be around. I'm not gonna be around to know what he does with it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but everybody's you know situation could be hard. Maybe, maybe he might need to sell it because he's an adult now. Maybe mm-hmm. he needs that money. He want if he could sell it and then make a career out of it. Maybe open up something. Yeah, you know. That that's that's pretty much what you would want. You don't wouldn't want him to. I wouldn't want him to sell it, just because he wants to go go buy a a, a motorcycle or something that he doesn't really need at that point mm. in time. You know, if he could yeah, just, make just for a, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I guess that's one <coughs> thing, right? But mm-hmm. there's so many outcomes, like oh, so yes. many possible outcomes. Like I was thinking about not only what your kids can do, but like you know, even if you're still alive and then you mm-hmm. you know get divorced. And then you can just, uh, how long is it going to take you to sell everything without her noticing? I mean, oh man, that's, that's tough. That's a tough one. I mean, that's something that's a, that's a, that's a touchy subject there because, <laughs> you know, it's like you work so hard for, you know, what, what you have and for someone, especially if you're like at that time, like they just take half of it away or all of it away or. Or whatever you want to think about, I, I just don't want to think about it. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just don't want to think about it. I'd rather it. give her the car and, yeah, the, and the house yeah, yeah. and just let me just I, keep I my just collection. I don't want to think about it. It's it's something that I know. It's, it's, it just it just it just. But crazy. It, you know, people. I'm pretty sure you know you're not the only. I've I've thought about it a couple of times, and that's why I have a response mm. to, you know, who I would like to to inherit my my mm. you know my collection. If, collection. if 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 I decide to sell it, whatever, then it's different. But you know, that's not going to happen. So. Yeah, well, we're not here, you know. I would like to know that it's gonna go, it's gonna be dealt with the right way, pretty we, much. Everybody's gonna be fair. Mm-hmm. Everybody, you know, there's not gonna be every any anybody fighting for for who takes what or anything so like that. So that means that you don't see yourself selling your collection, selling off all the collection again. I don't think so. Because I've seen I've seen people um, at toe shows or mm-hmm. just online, like hey. I feel like I'm done collecting. Mm-hmm. I'm not only done, but because there's only there's not only I'm done collecting, but it's I'm done, and I want to move on, that move on, and get rid of it. Like mm-hmm. I feel like if there's a point where I feel like, oh, okay, I'm done. Mm-hmm. I got everything that I wanted. Which I don't think that's, that's it. <laughs> it's happening anytime soon. But if if we come to that, I feel like I will keep it. For what purposes? I feel, I feel like I feel like I will keep it. I really enjoy a city. I, I just yeah. I, I really enjoy being here and, and watching it, moving it, cleaning it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. May, maybe at some point that feeling 
will fade away. Maybe whenever you're done collecting, that feeling also fades away. I, I'm not sure. I don't. I, I'm not there. I cannot predict the future. But yeah, I've seen people selling their collection. I'm like, no, I just, I just want to make my, some money back. I like, I like what I did. I enjoyed it. But I feel like it's time to move on. And and, and I think they move on to like another passion. It so, could be. It could be. It could be. You know, you it, never know what they're gonna do with the money that you give them for their collection, exactly, right? But exactly. But, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It just kept me thinking, you know, where where my collection might end up, right? Because at the end of the day, it's plastic and it's, well, it's going to be there for a little while. Yes, yes. So, but just just don't insult me like that. It's not just plastic, okay? <laughs> oh, come on. I know what you're saying, but yeah. I, I mean, now everybody's going to type, yeah. mad typing in the comments. Right? It's, just, it's not just plastic. <laughs> it's not just plastic, Yuli. <laughs> Guys, yeah, make sure no put that, yeah, make sure you put that. Yeah, make sure put that in the comments. It's, it's not, not it's just no plastic, yet, no, no, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. But, but um, yeah, so many, so many outcomes. One, one, um, a good friend, well, a, a guy, uh, he was selling me some figures, and then he was telling me like a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. This happened to a friend of mine, right? So he passed away, unfortunately, during COVID. Oh, oh man. Uh, and they just stopped hearing about him. They didn't, you know, he wasn't that very, you know, active, active on social media or anything like that. They just like stopped hearing from uh, from him for a mm -hmm. while. Mm -hmm. And then after a couple months or something like that, they 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 knew they were like somebody was selling their his collection. Oh, and wow. it was okay. it was it was his wife, right? So he was just she was just selling. But there was a lot of people just taking advantage of her. Yeah. And then he was telling me like. I wish he would. She would have trust us, you know. Mm -hmm. Nah, but I don't know if he really meant that, right? Yeah, but yeah. Know. But he like, I wish he would have trust us, and then, you know, to help out, guide her or, or yeah, help out. Help yeah. out. I feel like she sold the, a lot of the figures for 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 way way under the value. So, and he was the one that 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 gave me kind of like like an advice, like make a database mm -hmm. at least for the for the high end. At least they they know which ones are the 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 most valuable ones, the one that you have to make a, even though you cannot put a price on that day because maybe they resell it exactly, and that's why ten years from yeah. now, but they you know which ones are the the sought after at least for this mm -hmm. time or teach them a little bit of, of how to how find to out find, yeah, find information it. exactly, exactly. Yeah. but but that kept me thinking right so. You, an accident or whatever can happen yeah, real and quick. And it's, and it's, 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 yeah. it's something that you don't want to talk about it because, you know. You know. It's, it's a touchy subject. But, I mean, it's it's understandable. You just never know. You, I get what you're saying. You know, you, you may be here one day and the next day, you know, you're not and you're not. So, um, but, yeah, no, I, that's something to think about. You know, you telling me that I never really actually put on, on a piece of paper mm -hmm. and you said start a database. And that's not a bad idea. That is really not a bad idea because. It makes you think, you know, and I think something unfortunate, like what happened to your, your, your friend, you know, it makes you start thinking a little differently about, you know, the outcome of, of things like this. You know, even though even though it's a passion that we have, it's still it, it could be it, an it carry a value. Right. right? Yeah, it's, absolutely. it's still an expensive patch, uh, passion. So, you know. At the end of the day, it's, it's just guidance, giving giving, you know, your family guidance to know that. If if something were to happen and, and they're low on funds or something, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to say that the men is, is a breadwinner. But at the end of the day, you know, like we do what we can to, to keep our family ahead of us, in front of us. So, you know, if, if there's something, you know, hey, if you have to sell this figure, go ahead and sell it, you know, but don't give it away either. No, I, I, of course, of course. And it's funny because now... I was talking about our collection as a inheritance or mm -hmm. as a point value mm -hmm. of your possessions. You will say, oh, I own a house. I own, mm -hmm. now I own a collection worth something, yeah. whether it's big or small. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about, like, well, I guess, I guess you could because a lot of people been collecting for a while maybe i'm just too new and in collect into collecting but i uh, i don't know like would you ever thought about collecting like toys will be this big or well 
I mean, I've been collecting for a while now, but the market, yeah, I mean, some of these figures, I would, and I think, I think I'm with any anybody that's collected as long as I have could tell you the same. Nobody expected for some of these figures to cost what they cost now. I mean, mm. we just never, mm. and and that's what we. I think we we touched a little bit on this subject on the last podcast that everybody says. If I knew, I wish I could go back in time. Yeah. If I knew that this was going to cost as much, I would have kept it because people had girls in their hands or or not in or high end pieces, mm-hmm. however you want to put it. But at the end of the day, you know, they didn't know at that time what they had. You know, you know, I always hear stories of you know people going to my store and they tell me stories. Oh man, I used to have that and, and I used to throw it around and I, and I I used to put it in you know put it in the dirt and mud and <laughs> and, and you know and oh, just put I some just, fireworks exactly, on it and yeah. then just make it like and and they and they, all they tell me is like I wish I didn't do that. I wish my mom didn't throw it away. I wish I knew where it was at. Now look mm. how much it costs and I mean and that's yeah the, I heard stories a lot mom's ripping like you know oh, yeah. the whole pokemon collection I look, like just, cards. just the other day uh, i had a guy come in and he's a big lady, lady collector as mm-hmm. well and so um he talked to me about um he i guess he had this sack of nothing but lady ladies when he was a child and and so he moved over he was from mexico so he moved over to the u.s and um you know his mom i'm gonna say a couple of years ago he said that you know she gifted him for his birthday so, you know, she she sent oh, them when, over when, who, sat, and it was all this lady, lady Star Wars. So so the mom put them back together. No, no, she she had them. She had them stored, and so she put them and she just sent them off in a box. She she um shipped them to him over. So here. when he moved here, he didn't bring them. Yeah, over I know. And, after he said after I think he said what twenty four years, after twenty four years, he just forgot he about, forgot about him. Yeah, he forgot. And so and so um he said a couple of years ago his mom sent him a package for his birthday, and it was all his old Lady, lady Star Wars. Wow, and so um, he was he was thrilled about it, but then he said that brought memories back. Okay. That, and so now he started asking the question: Is hey, I knew I had a Millennium Falcon, I, and I had it in a box, and so he started questioning her, and then she goes, "Oh, I threw all that away." So you see how it, it, it's see, more. It just brought it, it yeah, hurts. Okay, okay, it hurts now. It, like it, I it, wish it, I would have not. I, w- I exactly. wish you would have kept it like. And so he like, what, what, what? He goes, I, I threw that away a long time ago. It was just collecting. So this, I just decided to put it in a bag and just throw it in there because it wasn't it was taking too that, much space. Too, yeah, too much space, yes. So so you, can you imagine a Millennium Falcon and a couple other figures, Lee Ladies with the box? Wow. I mean, yeah, and, I, and he was like, oh, and he was just, he, it was just funny because I was just looking at his facial expressions. He was just looking up <laughs> like he wanted to cry. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's. It's all oh man, like you, you hear things like that, it's like, but who who would have thought? Who would have known? No, nah, it's and, impossible. You know? Like, yeah, it's, it's it's if we would have known back then, uh-huh. then we will we should know today what to keep today. Exactly. Like, but, ever, but like I said, the value. I remember what I explained last time. The value. How much would it be worth now? Because if if everybody kept the high end piece, would it really be high end? Would it be really hard to find? Mm-hmm. Being that everybody pretty much would have one if they. It, it, whatever they line them. they collected, mm-hmm. Star Wars, Mess of the Universe, TNMT. But at the um, but 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 even that, like you, 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 the numbers, the production numbers are different, right? So the the even though they will kept them, mm-hmm. like it's not the same volume that they produce here so, in the U.S. as they will. Yes, produce them you, yes, yes. You're right about that, but at the end of the day, it still wouldn't be as difficult to find or as high end as nowadays yeah there, there there's a i think the percentage will be will kept will, will, it wouldn't be as valuable maybe but the percentage will mm-hmm. be similar right so if a regular figure from star wars in the u.s is like twenty dollars fifteen dollars mm-hmm. then it will be one dollar and then but the little d will be ten dollars yes so it will still be expensive but not compare as like yeah. it's not 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 as much, yeah. but it will still like the yeah, the, the value mm-hmm. the the percentage. I think it will, and I think a lot has to do with it with how the way the manufacturers make the figure too. You know, um, Ega with Transformers is man that thing. If you transform it once, it's gonna break on you. <laughs> nah, but but that okay. I, I <laughs> you you touch it. Yeah. All right. So one of the worst <laughs> pains that I've seen on a figure. Uh huh. Are from Thundercats from Venezuela. Okay. I think it was 
um no motto was rotu plugs i don't i don't i don't i don't remember the 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 company that that made the the, the, the case line okay and those are the the worst painting ever uh-huh and production value like you're saying it was horrible and one that's one of the most expensive yeah, now most expensive, yeah. so not all the time the production like the way that they produce them like the way they're mm -hmm. like no the best quality the best quali no it's not it's not, not always this, the, the the most collectible you know in this case the the ones the the thundercats or the from venezuela or i don't know what another example that where they're like really bad really quality fragile, yeah. fragile the paint will just come off really quick mm -hmm. are the most sought after and the, the more uh collectible therefore the more expensive mm -hmm. So, so that's why when you say like the production runs that that does have play in it. And going back to what we're ta we were talking about, um, you know, if if people back in the days would have kept their figures, yeah, there's some. There, I'm not gonna say everything would have been just low market. Nothing's gonna be worth anything. I'm not saying that either. What I'm saying is it, and like you meant it, it, it wouldn't be as much as it is today. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, let's just say, um. An undercover total, like we said, years ago, years ago, I've seen them for like 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. Mock. I mean, this was years ago. And now that, and people, I think people kind of knew about them because they didn't make a big production of them. Because it was $500 back then, but then the regular was like $20. So yeah. they, they still knew it was rare. Exactly. And and that's what I'm getting at. So people still knew a certain, a certain, like there's a guy, there's a mutual guy that we know that has, I think he has like. I think like three sets of undercovers mocks, but he bought <laughs> them when they first came out. Yeah. And he said, I was he has, he had like three sets of yeah, undercover mocks. He had like five sets of the dinos. That, yes. And, the, and so he said that he bought all this in the beginning when they first came out. I guess he must have known the future because he, he said, must have known something. Yeah. He must have known exactly. the, the, and, and the, so the production now, numbers you know, or something like that. Everybody's in, in, in awe whenever he shows off, you know, the yeah, multiple, multiple, like, wow, that, that's, that's insane. But, Like thousands and thousands of dollars in those yeah, sets, and, and, yeah, and just that you know to buy them when they first came out. I'm pretty sure, like, I think turtles were like five dollars, maybe six dollars in Toys R Us when you know, that's what their sticker price yeah. was. So I mean, it's just like I said, the the items won't be as much if everybody kept their figures, mm -hmm. but it would be, you know, a little lower, but not as high. But it would still be, uh, I would say, a little sought after. But black belt, you know, Raph, who would have thought, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they mass produce a bunch of them. But, but, but see, because in every line, they make a little bit. I need to, I need to see numbers because that, yeah. that to me, it's a complete. Okay, let me ask like, you. Let me ask out you. Of the, number, numbers to you. If they made over 20,000, do you think that's a lot? No. If they made, if they made about 100,000. What, what what number would you put mm. on a mass productive? Well, I, I, um, I don't figure. I don't I don't really know what would be a number until you compare. If I know a figure, uh, a common figure like a like a, a regular ten bag, right? So mm -hmm. how many of those they make? Then you can put a you can start making a chart, right? Yeah. So then you will need to know at least four or five of the like production numbers on the more common and then how often you see those mm -hmm. so you can have at least an idea right but so i'm not sure exactly if like 20,000 or 50,000 all i know is nowadays they don't come out oh, no, they don't come out yeah so exactly. so it's like all these newer these newer lines i don't know if you noticed but like funko does this a lot everything has a chase everything they actually tell you This is one out of 10,000. They, they automatically. Oh, they have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and back then, I don't really remember that. I don't no, remember because they, doing they, that. They, they target in, they, they, they target in the collectors. So exactly. they know they're already like. They know there's a market. They're, so, they're, and yeah, they, I think the more desirable do you. And I think that's a marketing move mm -hmm. because I don't think they will make money out of it because they will still sell the, 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 the figure. They will still sell a, a retail price. Mm hmm. I think that's more of a of a marketing move because that way you will have more <coughs> one out of 50, one out of 100 mm -hmm. exclusive uh, San Diego Comic Con, exclusive yeah. New York Comic Con, exclusive Amazon, exclusive this, exclusive that. And that makes it more collectible, mm -hmm. therefore sought after. And whoever is making the money is the resellers, right? 
But at the end of the day, it's that desire for that figure that at the end of the day is a funk, all right? So nothing, nothing bad with that. But I think it's more of a marketing to make it collectible, to make it a like yeah, I tried collectibles, uh -huh. like but, collectors. But, but when do you when do you remember that? I don't remember. The only thing I see remember something like that vintage wise was Mellowes. But I understand. But if you see uh, on, on the totals uh, or even it, it, yeah the Mellowes, but even even on some figures, some of the figures came with the collectors card. Mm -hmm. Like they already like branded as for collectors. I don't know if they thought the kids will be one day collectors or they were yeah. targeting young adults that they would like to. I don't know, because as far as I knew, as far as I know, like most of them, it was just kids, you know, buying turtles. But they're already targeting. OK, so, so you me, see you see a lot of those collectors card. When, OK, so you brought that up. So, OK, let, do you think they, they followed the age? Because being being that. Kids, let's say kids nowadays wouldn't know anything about vintage Ninja Turtles unless us parents that actually lived at them times taught them that, mm -hmm. right? So what you just mentioned is the collector cards. Yeah, you're right. They started putting, like, I don't think kids were really worried about, but what if they were following us? They were following us. The being that we're getting older, mm -hmm. we probably want to get collector cards now. See, because I, I, th I think it was more of a um, same thing that I was talking about with the, with the, with the, that example with the fungus, I think it's more marketing. Mm -hmm. They might you you want to think oh they were thinking of us as collectors oh, no, as no, adults, no. but I don't I don't think they were. I think it was just a marketing move, right? So you make the, the kids things that they're collecting as their dads collect, mm -hmm. you know, baseball cards or whatever their dads were mm -hmm. into. So now you you make a a move as a marketing company, like as, as a company for marketing. To not only buy one, but if yeah. you if you say collectors card now, you have to collect all of them. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's that's what everybody you know now start putting on their stamp. Collect them all. Collect them all. Mm -hmm. collect, collect them all. So now it's not just to have a figure to play with. Like they start well, like, well, I know Star marketing Wars. them, but they didn't do any small runs, right? So they were like collect yeah, them all, they, but they, like through it yeah, was because it was like pretty much everything you have. Of course, you, let's say, for instance, you buy an action figure. Well, now this action figure comes with the with the vehicle. So now they're going to watch you. Hey, well, look, you could buy the vehicle for this. So mm. that, that's the way they marketed it with us back in the days. But there was never I never heard of chases until later, later on, where it's one out of 10,000 or one out of 5,000. Yeah, yeah. And so I think, like you said, the marketing, that was a marketing thing. But because people go crazy, they look for those chases. They look for that one chase and then they find it. I, I'm gonna say maybe nine times out of ten, even if they're collectors, they'll probably they're gonna want to resell it because they they just made money. Yeah, but those those come on a if if you do that, I don't know if those are you talking about like those uh, uh, uh they make cards or stuff like where you like you cannot see your like yeah. So they make blind they make blind boxes. Well, okay, that, make, that that's that's more than a marketing. Yeah, I know you. They make, they it, make it's more like a that's more yeah. like a gamble. Like the soda cans. Well, even, but that's a yeah. that's a gamble because yeah. you're buying a, a a a pack hoping to to get a, a a nice card to be able to resell it. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the Funko uh, exclusives on from, <coughs> they know they're gonna do a limited amount of Funkos. They're not gonna at, sell at the actual, it. Yeah, comic, they, at the comic uh, they know that they're yeah. not they're not gonna sell it for that much. Mm -hmm. They they might increase the price the the original price, and they know that the reseller is gonna make a lot yeah. more money. But I think it's a marketing move. That way, you get collectors craving your product, whether whatever the whatever the, the, is, the, yeah. the the line of the Funko is, it's a marketing move. You 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 create that that the, the need of of having it right. So from from those collectors, mm -hmm. right, that they collect Funkos. So I don't know if that's something that companies knew back then, and then they start like fitting into that, right? Mm -hmm. So to to collect them all, to include the collectors card, include the the coins like into the field like what is a coin what do i need the coin for right exactly. so it's just because it's, that that was more for for the collectors right yeah yeah because so, now we go crazy for that as mm -hmm. vintage guys if, if a crank with card and coin or the leo with card and coin mm -hmm. i mean anything with the card and coin that's what you want that's where they are exactly. that, that's that and mm -hmm. of course it's going to be a lot more expensive so yeah that that's that's understandable and i i, I think that's you know with time it starts it starts evolving 
Yeah. And, and the mark, you know, people that are, you know, selling these figures are going to start evolving with time as well and start being like, okay, well, you know, hey, this is a money maker here. So we could probably, you know, we got something here. So, yeah. And where do you think the, 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 the new collecting item is going to come from, right? So it's hard because if you said it's new, but it's new, it's not new, right? So especially Oz, we're talking a little bit more about vintage or we collect mm -hmm. more vintage, right? Mm -hmm. So when I say what will be the new item in the vintage area, it means that it's something that probably is already there for 20 years. So is there something that you say it's probably that something that we don't we don't we don't consider to be in our collection, but maybe in five years, dangers will be, or even you know, let's say, a couple of next couple of years, mm -hmm. something that is going to be considered vintage, and now this is the way to go. The way to go. You see anything new that you think? I mean, the first thing that pops in my head is Pokemon. Pokemon. I mean, I've I've actually seen. I've actually seen. Pokemon is already. It's already. I like high end and like there's like a lot of a lot of yeah but I uh, but I also see not, well, see not, it growing more yeah it it, it I, I've actually seen like collectors like vintage collectors mm -hmm. get into Pokemon I, I've seen that I actually got a few Pokemon in my collection now I, I I was a Pokemon collector when they first first came out but, but you know I, of course I ended up selling it. I didn't know how much it's gonna end up costing, so I, I sold a bunch of stuff that I, that now like, oh my god, I wish I would have kept it. And and um, you know, it's just like I said, nowadays people people I think go towards you know the the what what the latest and greatest is, and so I I, I think I think when like when the new Ninja Turtles movie came out or the new you know these shows from Star Wars and stuff that come out. I think that that keeps them that keeps you know the 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 people intrigued and like oh you know let me let me go back and see mm -hmm. you know maybe power of the force you know these 94 95 figures they might be something it might be worth something because it's still irrelevant it's still relevant yeah, yeah yeah and so i mean there's there's a lot of old i guess new vintage you want to call it I was, i was gonna say yeah the new, vintage, the new vintage like what is the new vintage like the so the new vintage like i said to me Oh, man, that's that's a hard. I think one. still be, I think still be from well from the nineties, right? So yeah, I, I was still considered. But what what, it, what else is on the nineties that we haven't? I don't want to say discover, but like gravitate towards like. Well, are you, okay, so let me ask you. This. When you ask that question, you asking you asking the older crowd or asking the newer crowd? I'm asking you and all. Like all, okay. I don't know if you think you're older or newer. No, I'm a like, young guy. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're young and hard. I just, at heart. I just, I just I'm I'm just turned 21 so I Yeah, I whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so um well me me personally my opinion I mean because at some point I feel like even though like again when I when I came up to to collect and then I started collecting you know there mm -hmm. was a, there was already people looking for the for the 90s figures, right? So which is, you know, Ninja Turtles, Straight Sharks, um Muscle mods, like mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, uh of lines that's one lines in the nineties. Do you think we still have lines in the nineties? Like I, I feel like. What do you think about Power Rangers? Ah man, because that was that was like ninety three, ninety four. I feel like I like I like Power Power Rangers, um, but when they came out, where I was, I know I I don't know I don't know exactly the year that they came out. I believe it was like 92, 93, something I like was that. A, I was, a, when they came out on, on, in Mexico, um, where I'm from, I was already in, in, in middle school, right? Mm -hmm. So there was, it was weird because there was like also showing uh, Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. And then for some reason, we felt proud to watch Dragon Ball, okay. even though we were I not that saying, young, yeah. but when but when they like it was kind of like at the same time that they air it um, there. So the Power Ranger Power Rangers, for some reason, 
I felt like I liked him. I watched him. <laughs> he didn't want to tell nobody. But I didn't want to tell nobody. <laughs> so I felt like it was like a um, guilty pleasure. Or what is it? What do you call? <laughs> so I didn't want. I, I I promise you, I wouldn't say anybody that's cool, like that. I was watching Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. So now, even though even though I liked him, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't have much Power Rangers. I have like a couple of mm-hmm. you know the little helmets. I, think yeah. I have four helmets. Uh, but that's about it, right? So I have I, I haven't gotten into it. Not sure if I want to get into it. I feel like I want to get at least the basic figures. <coughs> but I still have, for some reason, that trauma, that feeling Your people are gonna that be- I relate. Not even yeah. because I know they're not, and I know that a lot of people collect them, and yeah. it, it's fine not to collect it. I, it's not that, but. For some reason, I have that connected to Power Rangers. That mm. that feeling of, I I never wanted anybody to know that I was watching <laughs> Power Rangers. Maybe because I thought it was the the pink pink ranger. <laughs> nah. No, no, no. But but I don't know. It just it's just weird to me. I I think I, eventually I will start collecting. But for some reason, I relate that that like oh. I so didn't. I would I would consider that being a little bit more of the new vintage. That could be, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I know the Power of the Force. I mean, this is a, like the second series, I guess, because they had the last seventeen Power of the Force. Mm-hmm. That's that. I would consider that new vintage as well. Okay. Um, but honestly, I don't, I don't see myself collecting any of that. I mean, Power Rangers. I I, I only have one figure, and that's and that's the Green Ranger, and that's pretty much all I have from my whole collection that I have. I yeah, I remember that Green Ranger was the cool one. Yeah, he was a cool one. So that's the one that uh, everybody wanted to be, of course. And I, I, I mean, honestly, me, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't afraid to tell people that I watched Power Rangers. I think I was. No, I, it wasn't I, that bad. I, be, I don't know. I don't know why I, I felt I was that. Like, I was in fifth grade or sixth but grade. I, when I, it, it, might, it might come out, might have come out, came out earlier, like a couple of years before here in the U.S. than mm-hmm. in Mexico. Probably so. so because probably I feel so. like. We're kind of like the same age, right? So yeah, yeah, we're the same age. Like we're a couple of months couple, away from yeah, yeah, something, something like that, right? So, so I think in Mexico they came out later, and I was already in middle school. Mm. So if I would have seen it like a little bit younger, maybe yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I'm the no, red, but ranger, or whatever. I can't relate what you're telling me because, I, like I said, I, if I could, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like in fifth grade, and I remember some of the kids will make fun of. So, you know they will, they will oh, say, okay. oh well, you, you see Power Rangers, you're a baby and so maybe maybe then I, maybe that was the reason maybe i saw something like that i don't know i just i don't I remember see, a specific happen, yeah. but for some reason i i didn't mm-hmm. feel confident to see to say <laughs> my friends that i was watching power rangers mm-hmm. uh-huh yeah so i mean like i said the new vintage and I, I have to this day i still haven't gotten into that yet i mm-hmm. i don't know i'm just not it's, it's not I, i'm not driven to it i would say you are i mean i, I say ninja totals is, well, it's no, a new okay. vintage so so we talked about like i said we kind of hit this and, and it's a kind of a gray area but we hit the, so yes you're right but because i'm deep into ninja turtles mm-hmm. so when you're talking about ninja turtles i mean that's something that's that's a line that i followed all the time but it's been there but when you and also when you talk when we talk about a, about a line about a line like that is it's a line that that started broke it's, records or stuff like that it like just broke the chart like like masters of the universe and gi joe and ninja trolls so i think that's why you probably don't consider it that much of a newer vintage but because of the of the time that it came out it's mm-hmm. it's still 90s mostly 90s right so it yeah. came out in the 88 but but it's mostly 90s so but you don't see yourself like collecting street sharks for example or no or so i mean i i would collect street sharks. it me the way i am is i right now my stage of collection collecting is i'm collecting what i want to collect I'm not saying I, I i like street sharks don't get me wrong mm. but i don't want to in i don't want to into that whole new i guess it's just a money pit yeah and man there's some street sharks you know and of course I, I'm, I'm a little like you i just want to collect the high end stuff i, I want the the good stuff and it's gonna cost a lot of money i just like you know i'm just gonna i'm just gonna turn it the other way and i'm gonna let i'm i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you <laughs> collect the street sharks and i'll come over here to your to you know to your cave of wonders i'm gonna and and, and get I'm to gonna, touch them i'm gonna start to charge for <laughs> for entrance <laughs> <Charge, laughs> <admission fee. laughs> yeah I, I mean like i said there you know me there's a lot oh man if, if i could there's a lot of other lines i would like to get into but i just don't have the funds like i i 
or it'll take me forever. And being that I'm so deep into what I want to collect mm-hmm. that I already spent so much money. I'm like, man, I don't think I want to open up that, you know, that box of worms, yeah, no, yeah. which I would like to collect street sharks. Don't get me wrong. I only have one street shark. Like I said, I have, I, I pretty much have one thing that I like out of the, you know. Yeah, I remember that because uh, when I was looking for the, for the tiger sharks, you also told me like, no, I just want Mm-hmm. The the main guy like uh, Mako, yeah, Mako and and, uh, Mako, and T-Ray, the the two main guys, the, the, the two bad guy, guy and, yeah, and the good yeah. guy. And so I don't think I can do that. Like I, if uh-huh. I if I'm gonna get in a line, I'm not saying that I'm uh, I have to complete it, but I want to fill up at least one shelf with with content, right? So yeah. I don't I don't I don't feel like I'm not saying I want to fill up like the whole rack of mm-hmm. shelf or whatever, but at least I like to for me for my yeah. Whatever it's working in there for, for yeah for my <laughs> anxiety or whatever, uh-huh. I feel like I want to fill up like that single shelf mm-hmm. with with that with line, that right? Line, so yes. I don't. I, that's why I feel like I cannot just pick one. So so out of each line. So like tiger sharks, you know. I I told you, but but this is what happens as a collector. You know, like hey, if I I think I'm gonna go after some more tiger sharks. Mm-hmm. Thundercats. I try to do that. And actually, so, I mean, and I, they were really nice Thundercats. I had working, you know, everything. And I ended up selling them because, you know what? <laughs> I didn't want to enter that. <laughs> I didn't want to enter that. that, that it's that, a lot. That line. Yeah, it's it's a lot. And some of these pieces are really high end. So I I actually, right now, with my collection, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm satisfied and happy where I'm at. But I'm content because I sold off what I really didn't. I'm not saying that I didn't want it, but my my thought process has changed a little bit of what I want to keep and what I want to collect. Mm-hmm. So right now, right now I'm content with my collection, but Street Sharks, a Thundercats. Oh, I would love to start collecting those, but I just, I just think about the the I, headache of trying to look for and this then, piece. Then, yeah. And, and the and road, I'm, the road that it's going to take. Yeah, yeah. And, and, it, and I'm not saying that I'm just giving up mm-hmm. maybe next year, maybe two years from now, you know what? Mm-hmm. But I feel like it comes with with maturity, right? So mm-hmm. I feel like you you've been you've been in collecting for a while, and I feel like I reached point after two years. <laughs> no, for real, like I know two I'll, years. That's what I'm laughing that's at. That's a lot. Nah. Yeah, but but I feel like I've I've been I've, I've reached a point where I'm more of a, I feel like I tried to avoid those uh, jump. Mm-hmm. To get it, to go and get it, right? So I'm like, I feel yeah, like I, I think you got more patience, a little now, bit right? more patient now. Mm-hmm. I'm trying not to 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 break my my, my okay, bank so, account. Okay, so, so that being said, uh, you know, I have a a boomerang for the black belt. That's that's some there's some exceptions, right? <laughs> <laughs> there's some exceptions. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a piece that I've been looking for a while. It's <laughs> just an ex Sorry, so but those are the things like you see. But that, that's those are like there's not a lot of things that I'm looking for. No, I get I get you. There's things that look for me, mm-hmm. and then if they find me, and then I like, oh, okay, I, I connect with it, mm-hmm. I get it. But there's very few things that I'm looking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's why opening a new collection, like one of the collections that I would, li- one of the lines that I would like to get into, it's, um, and I think I've said it before, it's uh, Jurassic Park. Okay. The first wave, right? So I, I would love to start collecting those. I'm still not sure if it's, you know. Uh, because I love the boxes, so I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm, I'm a little bit iffy yet. I, I still have to make a decision. Yeah, I think Jurassic Park is a lot, of, and aren't you? You're not too fond about boxes, right? You like to actually I, have I a like lot like the, the, the high end, the, the top ones. I like some of them, uh, but I, I like to collect loose. I like mm-hmm. the play sets. So, but I know if I open that route, I'm just gonna start like, oh, I want this, I want that, exactly. and I'm really comfortable right now. I don't feel like I want too many like i'm not looking for specifics right now so if you tell me i'm looking for a couple of undercover uh accessories that black belt accessory Mm -hmm. maybe a couple of figures for uh star wars right now maybe the things that if i see at a good price i'll get them and there's things that I like those like accessories that Mm -hmm. even though they're not a good price i might i might still get them because i'm like I, but, I, but but as a collector, I have I think, a hole in my we, soul. I think when <laughs> so there's some people that that will. Of course, you have people that 
been searching for pieces for so long, but if it's too expensive for them, they'll, they'll pass it up. I think I, I, me and you relate on this that, hey, if it's there and, and we know it's it's cost a little bit of money, it's cost more than what we expected. Yeah, we've sometimes paid more than what we, we should have probably. Yeah, we can, we're going to get nine. You know, I, that's happened to me several times. And mm. and I'm not going to say it's not going to keep on happening. There's there's things that I feel like, man, opportunities that come up and like it's been this long and I finally have it in my, you know, I can have it in my hand. I just, all I have to do is just send the money. Oh man, but it costs like a hundred dollars more that they're asking for, or two hundred dollars. Like, you know what? Just close my eyes and let's make the transaction, <laughs> and get, it, get it over with. Because yeah, I mean, you know, I had like I had that boomerang if you wanted for a thousand dollars. Just see, but, okay, but I'm not that desperate yet. <laughs> no, but I still, I, I don't know, I don't know if if you see like the way that you say, I know you're playing and all that, but maybe, maybe like a year ago or like mm -hmm. six months ago, I would have jumped on it. Like mm -hmm. I was like, no, more I believe like, you, you would have. Yeah. So it's more, I feel like I'm a little bit more conscious, like of, of what I'm getting into the, into mm -hmm. the collection. I feel like, like you said, I'm content. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with our, where I am mm -hmm. because I can display my, my, my whole room, you know, the way, yeah, the way that yeah. I want it. Exactly. Now I still have, shells that i would like to uh, get better like like improve or upgrade mm -hmm. have a better or more complete uh and that and that specific shelf or have it a more complete figures or have more figures in it or just simply replace newer figures with with all a vintage mm -hmm, uh mm -hmm. lines so i, I there's still work that i want to do here but i feel like I'm I'm happy where I'm at like right now. Like I'm not I'm not that desperate and to go out and I find think, and just. I think that's what happens when. You know I know I know you only have two years collecting, but in these two years you went you went you went hard like you know and I think a lot of people can agree with me, mm -hmm. and I, and I'm not saying that like oh man you're crazy or anything like that. No, hey, that's your passion. That's hey mm -hmm. I'm happy for you. I, I really am. You know all the stuff that you have is it's, it's 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 crazy. You know like to be around it it's nice, but. You're going to get to a point, and that's what pretty much what happens. You're content. That's where, you know, it took me a lot longer to get stuff that I wanted. It didn't take me two years, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty content of what I have. And, yes, I always have people telling me, hey, do you want to sell it? Sell it to me. Sell it to me. I'm like, no, I, I, I can't. I'm one of those too, right? <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. It's some, sometimes, but, I mean, you know, it's just some people think that, you know, it's so easy just to sell something off that you work. You, and, and it's not saying, oh, my God, you know, like you. You, you put your blood set and twist, but when when you put so many years or, 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 or so much time and effort of looking for it and sometimes even seeing that it's so that you, you had you, you missed it by a couple of hours or you missed it by one bid or anything like that. It, it, oh, my God. So that's the drive. Like I said, so let me ask you this. If you were if you were to see that boomerang on eBay right now mm -hmm. and and um, it's on auction and you have you have. um one day left 20 23 hours 24 hours left mm -hmm. um and you see it at let's just let's just price it let's just price let's price it at 250 mm -hmm. and you see it is up to 500 right now mm -hmm. would would you would you would you would you be content and be like you know what i'll just find it somewhere else or would you be like you know what? i was when you say 250 i would say i would put a 500 okay for that single if it is on bid, no. Come on, guys. If somebody is, has it, and then <laughs> don't be asking me for five hundred dollars. Come on, be, be chill. <laughs> but if it is on bid, and then I could, I, I could put my max bid at five hundred, and see where, how long, how like how high. I don't think it's gonna be the five hundred mark. Like, not even yeah. crazy. But, but there's maybe another crazy dude for like putting yeah. four hundred or four fifty for that. Somebody that as bad as you do. But, I, but I, I hardly, I. I I don't think it's gonna reach just that mm -hmm. for one mm -hmm. single. Yeah, no, and, and it may, it might, but, it but might, we, but we're just hypothetically speaking. Yes, yes, like, yes. So, so th those are those are the small items like you were talking a little while ago about undercover accessories mm -hmm. and, and you know the black belt, you know, wrap. So pretty much that's all you need to complete your things that in two years I haven't seen. Exactly. So, oh. so that's what that's what I'm getting at is, but there are people there that would be like two fifty. That's too much. And as people that said 250 for the whole figure completely says too much. Exactly. Like, so 
So like, like I said, you have different you have different collectors, but these collectors have different views. I'm not knocking those guys either. I'm not I'm not saying that hey, well those guys they're cheap or they're low ballers. You know they may they may still live in the past where they think these figures are not worth that because they remember it being worth a hundred dollars, not two fifty. Mm. So they they don't keep up with the times, and that's understandable, you know. But that doesn't mean that we you know we're we're not we're not we're not idiots to be spending this kind of money. I mean. If if it took you this long and you finally have it in front of you, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. And and so like I said some people they will pass that up because they just oh no that's too much. I'm I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to look at that, you know, at that auction or I'm not even going to I'm not even going to, you know, question it. I'm not even going to entertain it. I'll just I'll just look for it somewhere else. You know, and so that that's that's where that comes into play where you know like how bad you may be how- content but there are those those items. Those I, I feel like I'm content with my overall collection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there will still figures out. I'll oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. For. But um, I don't know. I'm 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 happy. I'm happy with my collection. So so um, and I know I know this is we're going a little bit off topic, but I want to I want to talk to you about something that like I said because I have guys that go go into the store and we talk like this. You know you 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 meet new people. So when it comes to hunting. Because mm-hmm. I know you brought that up earlier to me. You told me about the hunting. Would you be more patient hunting for it? Or, or would you be like, you know, what, I'm just going online and get it. Mm, yes. I don't think I will be. I will ever be. A, a, I don't even know how do you call them or how they call themselves. Like the, those people that only buy on the wild. Mm-hmm. Cause I've seen oh, well, YouTubers yeah. and I've seen people that say no, only if you if you hunt for them if, if it's the thrill of that makes you a collector. That makes you a true yeah. collector because mm-hmm. as you know, that's the, the thrill of the. If you go like that, I'm one hundred percent. There's gonna be pieces that you will never find, like because even on a wild world platform, mm-hmm. it takes months or sometimes years. For one to pop up. Exactly. And I'm not saying that it's impossible. But it's a needle in a haystack. It's yeah. a needle in a haystack. And how many needles do you want? Mm-hmm. Maybe if you're looking to collect only one line and then one figure, and then if you dedicate your life, maybe you'll find it on the on the wild, mm-hmm. right? But when you collect as many lines and then you have a lot of needles on, on each line, yeah. trying to hunt for all of them, it's hard, right? So, and honestly... My goal since the beginning, when I, when I, when I, every time that I talk about this, like my goal was to, to decorate my room mm-hmm. and it never changed. It just changed the, 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 what I wanted to decorate it with. Yes. But it never changed. So I feel like I feel content because I can finally see it very well decorated with things that I appreciate, with things that I like and all of that, things that brings me no, nostalgia and all of it. So at the end of the day, the goal stayed pure and i i'm i'm not saying that i already achieved it because i feel like i i, I still want some more figures but but the overall content. the overall yeah, i'm content. super happy yeah, yeah. So you're content and so that that's that's where it's another controversial thing because i don't i don't agree with that with people saying well if you don't hunt for it then that means oh we went back to that yeah yeah, yeah. no 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 I, I could i could never be sorry 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 yeah. i never i never answered that but no i could never be a only haunt in the and, wild and it's not, person. And, and, I, and the thing about it is, is I think me and you can 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 agree. There's figures. Let me tell you this. There's figures so rare that even looking for them on eBay, on eBay, mm-hmm. she'll be considered hunting. Because, yeah. Because even on eBay, if you miss it by a couple of minutes, another guy will will, will we'll snap it. it. Like yeah. it's it's still haunting. Yeah. It's not the same type of haunting. But it's still haunting. Yeah, so so pretty much, like I said, I had guys tell me, hey, well, just like what you explained to me, you know, it's not, oh, you know, it's because I like to hunt. And and, and the, the feeling of it, of finding in the wild, oh, man, I mean, I understand that. It's almost like Pokemon. You pull, you pull that one card mm-hmm. from that pack, and it's exciting. But my thing is, and I think you could relate to me, is the timing. Do you have the timing for it? Do 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 you have the the to go to sh- toy shows? Do mm-hmm. you have the, you know, to 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 travel, and and you know, does your work allow it? Does 
you know, I had a missed power con to go with you because I, I had to do because of work related. Mm-hmm. So it, it was something that I, I wish I would have went, but and and you hunt when you have the opportunity, you you did it. Yeah, when mm-hmm. and so and so that's that's where you know a lot of stuff that I think me and me and you have gotten actually has been online or through Facebook, you know, and. I don't think it's a bad thing, but some people see it as, oh man, no, you you didn't hunt for it. You don't, yeah. Um, you, you know, you don't, you know, you're not a true collector. Like, no, that's not true. That's not true at all. But I mean, people tend to uh, think otherwise. Think and otherwise, yeah. No, and, and everybody has their own reasons. And I, I follow this guy on YouTube. Uh, pretty sure you know him too. And then he's been very vocal on his YouTube that he only hunts. And I love his collection and the things that he has on his collection. Are amazing. Um, I think it's uh, retro Ed, Ed retro geek. Oh, retro, 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 retro Rick. I think Ed, or? something like that. Yeah, um, we'll edit it out. Yeah, but um, no, he's been he's 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 been very vocal about you know just collecting through toy shows, and he's got an amazing collection. But he hunts almost every weekend. Mm-hmm. He's trying to look for content for his, for his YouTube, which is great. I know, I, don't get me wrong, but I just don't have the time. Exactly. My 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 my, my job doesn't. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. If I if I go if I stop I quit the job and I go to do something else and just to have time for it, like mm-hmm. I think I will be more miserable, right? So because I will be doing something that I don't like for a living, and then. I don't think it'll work for yeah, me. Yeah, and and that, and that's uh, I mean, people are understandable at the, at times, but there's some still people that are still ah no, you know, you you didn't hunt for it, so I'm like mm. there's there's everybody. But there's a lot everybody's of, a critic. Everybody's Every- a critic, especially with this, uh, you know, the social media. I think I think honestly, it's more so like that whenever they see that you have high end things. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. I think I think you get more attention to you when you when you have high end pieces, mm-hmm. and people are like oh. Well, I wonder how he got that. And they start noticing, well, you know, I don't see no, I don't see him hunting for it at, at toy shows. You know, I don't see him in the wild. Mm-hmm. And so it starts, it starts, you know, cause I, I've, I've been approached about that. Like, well, you know, why you really do is just shop online. I like, it's not that I'm doing it purposely. I mean, if I'm not, if I'm not doing my nine to five, I'm at my store, mm-hmm. you know, working, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, working. Well. So it's not like I have the time to go to these toy shows. If I can, I would. And if I am doing a toy, I'm if I'm at a if toy show, a toy I'm show, doing the toy show. Yeah, yeah. You're you're as a vendor. You're you're not just haunting. Yeah, you. exactly. So it, it just it's just I just think sometimes you know people don't understand that they do, but they don't. Sometimes people they just like to see the world burn and then just <laughs> throw accusations and like yeah. At the end of the day, like a lot of those people are just trolls and then just trying to ruin your good mood or sometimes mm-hmm. you're super happy with that one figure with that one figure that you got and then like trying to show it or whatever mm-hmm. post it on your social media so happy about it and then you're like hmm yeah he seems to be having a good day Let, let's let's, <laughs> let's, po- let's poke into it <laughs> yeah, let's, bust, let's bust this bubble real quick yeah yeah, yeah 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 so i mean that, that, that it happens man you know like i just i just understand why people do that from time to time you know they just want to poke poke at the bear i guess and just you haven't been you never throw hate on no social I, media no i i never i oh, like to, so only to me i like to, yeah what's well, you because you're different <laughs> it's just two years man come on you're greedy man no oh my god so so no but i like to play around you know mm. i like to make jokes but i i have never been that type to be upset at somebody because they have something that i want I'm, i just i just don't i don't I mean, I say eventually, you know, eventually I'll get there. Eventually, you know, I it it does hurt sometimes when I I like missed it by by a second or something, and then and it was probably you that won it. And then like, you, oh my yeah, God. it's funny when you when you miss a figure and then you know who got it. Like, yeah, it was, and, and, oh, and it, it was you. And it happens from time. But I mean, I'm not gonna be upset with the person. I mean, <laughs> and lucky lucky them. You know, I hate it, but you know, what, what can we do about it? Let's just move on and see. We could probably make strike a deal. Or pay pay double what he paid for it, but um, yeah, it just it just tends to happen, man. And I, I've never been that type, and that's why I think me and you get along because you're not like that either. You're not a person that, you know, it, when I tell you I have something new, you congratulate me, mm-hmm. and, and that's pretty much what you want. You know, you don't want to have somebody just bring down your neck or just telling you things that, oh man, 
I could have done it. Yeah, oh, I got it too much. Yeah. Or you know, there was. Oh, you know why? I found it for Les or whatever. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's something that um that you know, he like said people people have bad tendencies in them and they just want to see. You know, I think sometimes they're just not having a good day or something like that, and, <laughs> and so they they want they want you to. You be. can see that, and, and can you see that on 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 all different? Because you you know every line has is a lot of people that are new to the to the collecting as far as you know oh i didn't know people will collect this mm -hmm. toy like figures right mm -hmm. they just see us as, as a niche but when you're in it you know there's like a lot oh, different yeah. niche within within the niche right mm -hmm. so one of the biggest to me the difference is like each line has a niche right so mm -hmm. there's a niche for only turtles for G.I. Joe's, for Masters of the Universe, for, um, you know, every, Transformers, every, Transformers yeah. Thundercats. Do you see a difference on on, on each uh, fan base? Do you see like, oh, this this is more, there's a lot of hate. Because I, I, I met a guy that, I, met I, I met a guy that he does like, he, he's a huge mole to collector, right? Mm -hmm. And he's trying to get into turtles and like, he was like, oh my God, no. There's a lot of drama over here. <laughs> that, well, that's There's a like, and I'm, I'm not throwing hate to the to the turtle community because you know I'm a huge turtle fan and all that collector. But he was telling me, I'm, and I know there's a lot of drama on Motu too. But like he was telling me, like, oh my god, I felt such a huge difference. I don't know if it was because he was very well known on the Motu community mm -hmm. and he wasn't very like I don't know if he conduct himself in a way to mm. to well, well and honestly you I know, don't know you know Motu's uh older crowd it's yeah. a, it's it's a yeah, bit it's like older. yeah Joe too like it's a little <coughs> bit yeah yeah it's a little bit older so I could tell you I could tell you firsthand I mean generations yeah, yeah so so when it comes to the turtle community <laughs> it can be a tight bond but man it could be some savages there can be some savages out there that that you can't ask a simple question because they'll tell you apart five different ways and like oh, man, dude, like it's just a not everybody, not everybody, no, 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 but, no, but it happened, yeah, but it happened. I, I, but but I, I posted I posted a video on, on on my Instagram not too long ago, mm -hmm. and guys, if you follow me on Instagram, everything I, that I, I post I there is just it. just fun just, and games, just, yeah. fun and games. It's just to be stupid. I'm not trying to. To find anybody. Mm -hmm. And it was the simplest video. I literally just post like, and I saw it. I, I saw an audio. I, like, I heard an audio with a video and the video was like this girl like trying to mm -hmm. fry or grill or whatever. Uh, some um, metals from, you know, running or whatever. Right. Uh -huh. So how she spent all her money uh, now she's trying to cook the metal, see if yeah, she could, you know, yeah, eating on it. Uh -huh. So I just translated to, 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 to oh, that will be fun, you know, like mm -hmm. it's, it's just, you know, you spend a lot of money as a collector. I'm going to put some figures on, on, on the pan and then you just put the, <laughs> play the same audio. It's, the audio is like a, a girl crying, right? Mm -hmm. So almost like, like a girl, a boy, right? So it's crying and then and just, you can hear some scratches, some people like working with the pan, but it's just an audio. But that's so, the audio, yeah. So I play the audio and then I just pretend I was cooking some turtles and some uh well, some high end some pieces. high end pieces, exactly. right? Uh -huh. And a lot of <laughs> a lot of people didn't like it, right? So to me, first of all, I was very careful, right? So mm -hmm. I was like, those are my pieces. I I pay a lot of money for those. I'm not gonna be scraping them well, and well, look, look, scratching look, look, them. Let me stop you there real quick. Mm -hmm. So if you can for right now for those people that were concerned about it can you let them know that the that the figures are okay the figures are okay <laughs> okay no scratches okay. on the scratch there you go no, there you go guys there you no go no hot spot on the spot <laughs> no spots on the hot spot no 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 it wasn't even those figures but uh but people start like oh how dare you and this and that mm -hmm. and like I make fun on, on but like, I, if you throw hate on my Instagram, I'll just laugh it out. And you can see my comments. I'll just, yeah. I'm, I'm still being stupid. You're not going to, I'm an older guy. You're not going to get to me because, oh, like I told me this on, mm -hmm. on they social can. media. Now it's going to affect my whole day. Like, I'm <laughs> not like that. Like, even if you're trying to do that, like, I'm not like that. So this guy not only posted on my, <laughs> Try to post anything on my <laughs> yeah. on my social media. He got, somebody else reposted it on Facebook or whatever. 
this guy grabbed it and put it on the on the, the one of the biggest uh turtle groups yeah. turtle groups saying how offended he was offended he was that i did you know that with those super you know, whatever high-end figures and mm -hmm. how inconsiderate i was and how li little of a collector i was and how joke i like and i was like really i was like laughing i was like wait what like yeah how does this guy know so much about me without knowing me right but he like he took the time to share it write a whole note oh, yeah. I, i seen that post and then i'm like what is what is going on like why are we so sensitive and some like well, well i'm not saying that everybody but yeah just, this is just a personal experience something that happened to me and then and most of the guys of the group were like kind of like our same age and like dude this is their figures like it's his money it's, it's his, his figure, money it's his figure it's, it's let him be he's just trying to be funny but no he was very offended and there's a couple of guys that kind of like follow yeah, after like uh, yeah agree with him you were one of them by the way <laughs> Just messing with him. <laughs> Just messing with me. I know. You but. know, I got, I got, I got to make it a little bit interesting. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But nobody. Well, anyways. <laughs> so, oh my god. But you don't see that on, on the GI Joe community, on like, or they're more well, like, like I said, GI Joe and, and Master Universe. There, there is a lot older. I mean, so basically, you can see, you, you 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 do see a, a difference between the communities. Yeah, I have, I have, yes. I mean, in the GI Joe community, and I know, I know, you fairly got into it. I, I'm not gonna say I've been a long time GI Joe collector, but I have been collecting for a, a bit al already. But I didn't get into it when I was young. I didn't, I mean I just maybe, maybe like three years ago I started collecting GI Joes mm -hmm. and I, I got into it. So, um, but I did notice that, you know, everybody's more congratulating you, telling you, you know things like that, instead of telling you, hey, uh, <laughs> why did you do that? And and, and what? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Now I want to tell you. I, I, oh my god then i got into star wars right mm -hmm. and then i usually when i start a line i try to look for for groups on facebook you'll find good deals there mm -hmm. and better or cheaper lower than than ebay you just try to go to to some uh, facebook groups right mm -hmm. so when i found the 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 boba fed the, the little the removable rocket whatever right so i found it and uh And that friend of mine recommended me to a group like, how are you in this group of Star Wars? Like, it's a huge group. And then I was like, excuse me. No, no, I haven't. Let me, let me, let me check it out. Like, go for it. He was like, but he literally told me, but just thicken your skin. Oh, I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> and like, like he warmed me and then it, like, bro, like you post something there. And it's I just everybody knows everything. Like it's I know I'm 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 not expert, uh -huh. but I will I post like I put it on my hand. It was it was not a good light. They could have asked for better pictures or whatever, but everybody started attacking me. That's not real. It's a fake. Da, da, da. I'm like, they, you know what? It, it made you think. It made me think. I'm like, I, it might be like. That's why I sent it to grade. I was like, I need to grade it right away because I don't. I'm not sure if it is if, if it uh -huh. is real or not. Like now, these guys made me think about it. But I think every community, it's it's a little bit different. I'm not trying to hate on anybody, right? So I have my but no, but, you, but thick, you're talking about your thick experience. Skin, no, but you're talking about. But I'm talking experience. about my experience. I'm not exactly. talking about like oh, this all the 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 community of Star Wars is this all the community. Mm -hmm. I'm talking specifically on the Facebook figure figures. Mm -hmm. buy and selling community like i'm not saying all the yeah but it's what i've experienced you know like it's just I mean, every, I mean, every 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 niche every every yeah I, I, that's exactly what you said i'm not i'm not gonna bash the turtle community because there, there's some men there's some people that we met that we made really good through yeah with. yeah and, mm -hmm. and so it's not all bad but at the end of the day you know it's just There's some savages out there. You can't ask for a simple question. Like, how much, guys? How much do you think this is worth? Well, whatever you bought it for, or, or go look it up. Like, <laughs> go, oh, those are the oh, responses. Or go for every eBay or yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, jeez, man. And and and, and they'll and, they're serious. They're serious. Yeah, like, and, yeah. and even in those comments, like, sorry, I, I'm fairly new to Ninja Turtles. Or or hey, I, you know, they just passed this this 
these figures on to me, so I don't know much about them. Can y'all tell me a little bit more more about them? How much they go for? Well, go figure it out. Or, or and I'm like, <laughs> like basically, you're like, on your own if you. Yeah, I'm like oh man, like these people are. And know, a lot of those people, they will DM him trying to get like, oh, you don't know how much. All right, so let me let me try yeah. to get a lot. Like they will just yeah be crappy and, and then try to get a deal exactly. out of it. And and so and so I just I just feel like it's it's experience that I've seen that. It hasn't really happened to me, but I've been around it. Like honestly, a lot of the hate <laughs> happens a lot around you. <laughs> Maybe because I, I I I share a lot more. Like I know you you have I know I know you well, have no, a lot of look. No, 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 because I would <laughs> never put my fingers in a frying pan for. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. So I so, tried to be silly. <laughs> no, no I, I'm not. I, listen, I'm not knocking you for that. But I'm just saying I wouldn't do that. I'm just yeah yeah. yeah See, I don't, I but but that's a risk that you're willing. To. See, but I know what you're doing at that time. You weren't thinking like, oh man, I'm a, I'm gonna get bashed for. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna tell. There's a lot of things that I do or, just. Or, to, or you ripping. I know another incident. So me, we all, we all rip. Okay, come on, on. we oh, all no, rip. On, we no, all no, rip no, 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 figures me, out of the cards. Let me finish. Let me finish. So. I know you ripped a uh, 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 storage show, Leo, Black Belt storage show, Leo. At the and park. a mic. And a mic. Okay, well, I know the Leo for sure. You got you got mm. a bad comment on this. You, you, they, mm -hmm. they actually sent you a message on this. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a it wasn't a, it wasn't a nice one. Now, guys, I'm gonna say it like this, Yuli, you were there too. I have ripped a few high end pieces, and you know, people are gonna say I'm crazy, but I did it because I had a reason to do it. I have what I wanted to do. But nobody wants to hear reasons. Like no, no, everybody no. will just go after yeah. your head. And, yeah. And so, but nobody actually did. I never, I did that. Oh, I, nobody told. No, I guess I'm likable. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I guess what, but I, I have ripped a, a, a couple of undercover turtles, mm -hmm. Michelangelo, and I believe it was Donatello. I ripped those out the card. And as soon as I ripped them out the card, I'm going to clip this, this phrase. I'm going to put it. Uh, yeah, um, okay. Uh, hopefully you get some hate. <laughs> Okay, and uh, I sent them to get graded, lose graded, because that's what that was my ultimate goal. I wanted mm -hmm. them lose graded. Now people would be like, "Why don't you just keep it in the mock, How, especially on a high end piece like that?" You know, but that was, like we said, it's it was that was my goal to do is because as I think I mentioned this before, I got into the the lose grading thing. Uh, for some reason, that that the lose grading, it, it that that it catches you, it my attention. Catches, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I have mocks. I do have, and I have a lot of loose, loose, complete figures. And I would love to get them graded now, right now, being how long CAS is taken, you know, I, I'm going to just wait a little bit, but there's a lot of loose graded figures that I want to get graded. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so well, I've been there, but, but, but gonna, I posted <laughs> and then I'm, that's where I get the I'm hate not, on Yeah, them. Well, yeah, because you're not like a boy. I am. So that's the <laughs> difference. That's more of the story there. Okay. <laughs> so pretty much. So, so yeah, I mean, and, and I've seen. I've actually even even before me doing that, I actually I've seen some guys ripping some some mocks. I'm like, why'd you do that? I even questioned it myself, and and I think I mean, I'm such a hypocrite for doing that. You know, like, <laughs> it, it, you know, before before I I had that idea of me ripping an undercover. You know, I've seen other people rip. You know, I I wasn't I wasn't when I seen you rip that Leo. I wasn't like oh because you said it was a beater card, and and you had a reason why because you had your you had your good mock. And you want mm -hmm. in your collection, you have a mock. It was not that bad, honestly. It was not that well, bad. It, well, like, I'm but I, I, the I no, of I, I, I picked <laughs> like both, both of the Leos like cost me pretty much like similar, and it was gonna cost me more to find one loose, especially that you know clean. Mm -hmm. And when I, I don't know if it was that one. I think it was one before I posted. I'm not sure if it was uh, in April or something like that i posted and then a guy told me oh like why didn't you uh buy it uh loose or why don't you trade it for a loose one and this is the only time that i've done actually something because you know all right, all right. try to 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 please the crowd mm -hmm. the next one i was i think i was gonna rip the leo and i posted on my stories and i posted everywhere I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. If anybody has one loose, like, complete <laughs> with the car and the way that I want it, let me know. I'll trade with you. Of course, with a couple extra bucks, right? Mm -hmm. But but I'll, I'll trade with you. Nobody, like, I was like, okay, I, I, I at least try. You did your due diligence. And then when I opened it, again, everybody, like, oh, how dare you? <laughs> like, 
Uh, you're yeah. never gonna have them like yeah you're never gonna keep i mean and like we talked about before you know, you know you're always gonna have critics you know you're never gonna you're never gonna please everybody, please everybody so yeah. we, we understand that and so being collectors i think not even just in the star wars i, I mean I, i'm guessing uh you weren't ready for, to have that thick skin because you're being you know pulled every which away whenever they told you that the boba fett was a fake it, figure no it was i was i was ready for them to to say to tell to me, tell me like, oh, what I show off your R, da, 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 the typical hate that I get. I wasn't ready. <sighs> if this would have been a cheaper figure, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a problem. But for for how much I pay for it, mm -hmm. there's no way that you wouldn't even yeah. doubt it. Like, so let me let me ask you this: like, well, Did you did you post that that graded figure in the in that one? Yeah. And what they say? What was the they, response? The funny thing is that the guy that sold it to me is on that group there. Oh. I didn't know in the first place. So whenever I posted it, I post a picture that I had it, but I, I, I didn't have the figure on me, right? So at the moment that I posted it, I just post a picture that I took earlier. Mm -hmm. So it was about like, and everybody's like, oh, this is, you know, you can see the details there. Like, oh, it's bad. It's fake. And this, they, he pulled, he pulled the rocket off. Blah, blah, blah. Let me see more, 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 more uh, pictures. pictures. But I couldn't because I, I didn't have the figure on my hand. So everybody was like, just kept making mm. comments about how fake it was. And actually the guy that sold it to me started posting pictures that he had trying to, yeah, no, like, cause he, I guess he was worried that like, yeah. I was thinking yeah. he sold me a, a fake, right? Or a, a forced one. So he started posting it, trying to defend it. And still like people that, when I posted the greater one, he was the guy that sold it to me. He was the one to post. You should tag everybody that was saying exactly. that it was fake. But see, I don't like beef that either. Like yeah. I, I'm, 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 I was just like, I was just happy that it was, it was, yeah. it was a real one. Like it got graded. I'm happy with it. Uh, but I'm not a, 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 and I even, I think I comment like, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like so, that. So did, did you, did you post it on a new post? Or did you post it? No, on, no, no, on, on a new post, on a new post, completely unrelated to that. Yeah. I would at least post it on the same, on the same post. You are, you are, uh, <laughs> you see, you just tried to find some beef where like. Well, I mean, it, it makes it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what will the lay, what will the day will look like without some, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, the day goes by quicker, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But you know, but it no, be working <laughs> instead of like looking at it. Yeah, so so I mean, yeah, like I said, it, it, you know, going back to what we talked about, yeah, I think I think it's it's the crowd. I think it's the age of the crowd too. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people also they're against whatnot, but we do a lot of whatnot as well. Mm -hmm. I actually sell on whatnot from time to time. So, um, but. I I know when you started collecting GI Joes, I even I, I told you, hey man, let's go into this guy's feed, you know. And you seen everything was just laid back and chill, you know. Oh, it's chill just, and just, super super uh, explicit, like you know, like guys, clear guys, on everything. Yeah, and, like, and even the crowd, people were like, yeah, good job or good mm -hmm. grab or or things like this. And so sometimes you to go to the turtle community, it's like, man, these guys are just bashing. Oh, but, uh, uh, you you <laughs> can tell you're just right there on one nut. On one nut, you you go to a show that is GI Joe and we're like, oh god, congratulations and this and that. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> you go to the to the turtle uh, like stream, and then you know that this guy fought with another guy, and yeah. this guy got spiffed with this guy. So you cannot make a comment about this guy with yeah. that guy. And and, and honestly, and like so, I said, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm here. I'm live with and you, I, uh, and then I'll be honest. I've I've had some of uh, shares of of uh, of incidences myself with with people and, and whatnot when it comes to the eternal community, but. When it came to when it comes to because that's all if anything I go to the GI Joe feeds and I go to the to the the turtle feeds, mm. um, and and it's two different worlds. You you can see it right away. It's you know, I just feel like it's a little bit more maturity. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I like to play around too. I'm yeah. not gonna act like you know I'm not. I know, I know for sure, for sure. Either. You know, I like to I like to crack jokes and like to you know because like I said, I think it just makes just make time it, pass you know mm. by quicker and it makes things fun. So, you know, but at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, I, I just feel like the crowds are different when it comes to um, when it comes to what toy line you're collecting. I really do yeah, think the, that. Yeah, depending on the on where that. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely a thing. Um, but all right, man. So I think we just took a little more than 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 just one hour. So we're gonna have to cut it um, right now. But hopefully, hopefully we get um, to get together again and yeah, talk definitely. again, and you know. 
keep 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 doing what we're doing the, and keep the chemistry and going. hopefully 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 i'm still we're still working on some on some uh, appearances right some yeah. guest appearances so um, we're, we're still working on it all right okay so thank you man thank you appreciate thank you. you thank you brother. for having me uh-huh.